What's up, YouTube? <laughs> okay, so this is hopefully gonna be the scraping for Odroid or Raspberry Pi cream de la cream video to pull off or put on the ROMs that you want fully scraped and it's gonna be simple using WinSCP. If you if you've never heard of WinSCP, you need to check out my WinSCP video. It tells you how to use it, how to get your IP address and all that kind of jazz. So I'm gonna jump straight forwards into it guys because it's super important that I try and keep these videos times down to a minimum. So I'm just going to boot up my old droid in this case, but it will work for a Raspberry Pi as well. It's just, I just I've had a lot more success with old droid uh, recently. Raspberry Pis for some reason like I just can't seem to goddamn connect to them these days. I've enabled SSH and I just don't know what's going on with it. So anyway, I'll let that boot up. Okay. That's actually quite fitting music that it booted up with because I'm actually going to be doing Sonic the Hedgehog Mega Drive. So, you've got uh, an image with some ROMs on it. You've, you could have put them on via USB or you might have put them on uh, by WinSCP. If you don't have WinSCP, even if you're only using it once, it's such a useful tool. I can't even describe it to you. It's just so fucking useful. Um, so, as you can see, there's four ROMs here that I want to scrape. So... Hopefully you follow my previous video on the scraper. I'm going to show you the most effective way of doing that. So I'm going to switch back to my main screen. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to get the IP address first. So the IP address is for, Re for Raspberry Pi is under Retro Pi menu. On the old droid, it's under whatever that menu I just clicked was. I can't remember it already. So the IP address I've got is 206. Okay, so I'm going to connect to that via WinSCP. And when you've got WinSCP open and installed, you'll have something that looks like this. Now, I've already created a shortcut for this. Remember, if you're connected to a Raspberry Pi, the username is Pi. The password is Raspberry. And obviously, the IP address you need to put in there. Connect by S, secure file for transfer protocol. Uh, for my old droid, uh, my IP address was 206. So that's right. So save. And then log in. Now, I've already navigated to the correct folder because I just wanted to make sure everything was working. But in Home, Pi, Retro Pi, or Pi Gaming Retro, you know, ROMs, you'll see the four ROMs here that I have on my Pi. As you can see, they were just normal entries. So I'm going to pull them off into an, a new folder. I would recommend that you have uh, your own little archive, but as ever, I'm just going to pull them into the test folder because I've already got an archive of, of most of this. So you want to download the ROMs. In a lot of people, you won't need to do this because you'll have put the ROMs on, you'll have probably had the ROMs on your PC and you've moved them to your Pi or Autodroid anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but just in case you haven't, you can pull any kind of content off any image and then place it on any other. So then we're going to open the scraper. Uh, let me just remember where that is. Okay, so I've got the scraper finally open. Now, the system, hopefully you've put your config file in from the other video. If you've not, you might want to do that. Um, so if you want to scrape the ROMs, you select your system. In my case, it's Mega Drive. The game ROM folder, I'm going to change that. You can change this at any point, guys. So I'm going to change that to, where is it? It's E-Test. So E-Test. Boom. And then you can select all your artwork and stuff. It's probably good to take this and just select the exact content that you want to scrape because I do prefer to change some of these. Um, I like to scrape four things. So, for example, this screen marquee, uh, I'm going to change that. You can click them individually and change them. And I'm going to change that to the, uh, doo -doo -doo, the carbon wheel. And then the screenshot, I'm going to pull the cart art for that. And then the video is already set. The, the video is usually there by default, so it'll by default pull the video for you. And then I like to have the four image mix. Because when you're on a, a Raspberry Pi, 
sometimes you if you have a very small memory card you can save a lot of space just by deleting all the videos off so it's always good to have the full image mixed so that when you're scrolling through you'll see the four images if you want to preserve that space and not have the video and then you can obviously have the video if you want it so let me just check all this so that's the folder that i've put the roms in yep you test uh, the game list is going to be automatically generated again don't touch the game once you've generated it like this make sure that you have the names that you want it to have already pre-done because it will create the game list based on what you've got in this folder you can change also these as well so if you wanted this to say if you wanted to keep things simple and just have um like box art and snap or whatever but whatever you put here the game list will do will map it as that effectively so just make sure you stay consistent i do tend to like to have consistent with my collection so every single folder's got the same naming convention if you will uh, that's actually cart art okay and then once you're happy with that so wheel snap box art right okay you ready to go it's going to use its uh, one thread because i've not subscribed to game scraper screen scraper so that's just going to use its one thread but i've already got four roms so it, it'll probably be done in hopefully less than a minute by the looks of it and you just got to wait for that to finish obviously make sure that it's created all the folders correctly and that it seems to be doing something if you're getting errors you might want to just recheck all your settings make sure that it's done it uh, you've set them up properly okay that's now finished so you just click the tick and we're just going to minimize that and i've already left my old drive connected now as you can see here you've it's done your game list it's done created four entries for each of those and it's also mapped it as i requested so box art wheel snap blah 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 it's mapped it all for me and then you simply just need to dump that on to the Raspberry Pi or Droid in the same locations as it was and then that's completed rather fast so now I'm just gonna reboot the old Droid and show you what it's done okay so that's now booted up and let's just see what we have here so yep it's pulled the videos it's pulled also the descriptions and it's pulled the wheel so that looks, that's looking pretty good. And that's pretty much it. Just bear in mind that if you do add more ROMs and stuff, or you want to add more in the future, it's good to still use Scraper because you'll have to, it'll have to regenerate your game list over again. So you'll effectively have to scrape it all again. So it's probably good to aim to get the fullest collection or everything that you want on there and then scrape it in one big go. You can't just scrape the one game and then add it on. So it's good to keep a collection on your PC. Um, all in the same place. So that you can just add your game or whatever. Rescrape the lot. And it and the scraper will save everything in its cache. So it won't take anywhere near as long to add another game if you've scraped it before. But you will need to put that new game list that it generates onto your Android or Raspberry Pi again. Hope you guys found that useful. Just a super quick video. Peace out. I hope you... You know, hope you do subscribe and find some of my content useful. I'm going through some more fixes and stuff like that as well. Um, I'm going to try and cover everything, like every single little problem that I've had. I'm going to cover that in a separate video. All right, peace out, guys. Take care.